Hello amazing people, this is your little Pinay Jen and I'm back on my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you are all doing great and that you are all healthy and happy. In this video, I'm going to show you the top things to do while in and around Davao City. Davao is the largest city on the island of Mindanao with a population of 1,776,000 people. It is the third largest city in my country behind Quezon City and Manila. My first impressions of Davao were very surprising. It was so clean with very little trash unlike City O or Butuan City. They take great pride in keeping the city clean. Even though it is the largest city in Mindanao, the traffic is very safe and people drive obeying the laws. You will not find people blocking crosswalks at red lights and you will not find people driving crazy like CDO or Butuan City. Everyone must wear a helmet and you must wear regular shoes on motorcycles and not sandals. The laws are strictly enforced in Davao. The crime rate here also is very low. I always felt safe. So without further ado, let's get on with this video and you will learn the best things to do while in beautiful Davao City. Davao City is known as the Durian Capital of the Philippines. Because of the rich, fertile volcanic soil and climate, it makes it very suitable for growing here. While in Davao City, you must go down to the Durian Fruit Market and eat this fruit. The fruit is described as the most foul-smelling fruit in the world and its aroma has been compared to raw sewage or rotting flesh. It smells so bad that most hotels and businesses refuse to allow you to bring it in. But us, Filipinas, love the taste. It is sweet and many describe it as a custard taste with a texture of creamy cheesecake. I love it so much. Magsay Sai Park is just behind the Durian Fruit Market and it's a pretty little park to visit. The park is named after Ramon Magsaysay. He was the first president of the Philippines born in the 20th century. I have added an amazing restaurant you have to try while in Davao. The Boiling Crab and Shrimp Restaurant. Probably the best meal I have ever eaten. I had amazing fresh clam chowder in a bread bowl. After picking the crab I wanted, they made the most amazing crab boil with sausage, potatoes, and hot spices. A must visit place. Davao is very famous for the Rojas Night Market. Security is always very tight getting into the night market. I think partially because there was a bombing here in 2016 where 14 people lost their lives. The first Half of the market is food stalls offering very cheap pick and grill, chicken, beef, pork belly, tuna, and as you can see, even squid. The prices are very cheap and it is a favorite night hangout for young and old to come and eat and enjoy the great food and fun atmosphere. The market is open from 6 p.m. until midnight every day, but the weekends is when it is the most fun. Of course, us Filipino women love our photographs and selfies. This section of the market is where most people take pictures. Music 
at the back of the night market, you will see hundreds of stalls selling all kinds of different items, including clothing, very cheap prices, and lots of things to pick from. You will also find the best homemade ice cream here at the night market. I picked avocado and ube ice cream. Oh my goodness, so very delicious. Jack's Ridge is a beautiful hilltop restaurant location where the Japanese had the final stand during World War II. Lots of restaurants and places to eat as well as beautiful flowers and vegetation. I would recommend coming at night time so you can see all the beautiful city lights. The Japanese tunnel was found in 1960 during excavation of a new hotel. It was made by the labor of Filipino prisoners during World War II. You can go approximately 300 meters into the tunnel, but it is much, much further. The hotel had to seal off to other parts of the tunnel because it is on private land. They found vintage machine guns, bombs, explosives, and a great deal of ammo. You should visit this location. It was very interesting. Definitely another great place to visit is the Philippine Japan Historical Museum. I learned so much about the history of the Japanese before World War II and during the war. Such a well done and beautiful museum inside. I so much enjoyed it. Another museum was Museo Dabawenyo. It's a very small museum and probably only takes 20 minutes to see. It showed some interesting artifacts and if you have time, I would recommend this place. There is a Chinatown in downtown Davao City. If you like shopping and very good Chinese food, I would recommend coming here as well. I would recommend you visit the old downtown area. It has Quezon Park. Rizal Park and the famous Metropolitan Cathedral of San Pedro. I love the old architecture and statues. One of the highlights of Davao City for me was the Davao Crocodile Park. This was very enjoyable to see all the Philippine wildlife including, of course, the Philippine crocodile. They had great shows and interactions with beautiful creatures. I would highly recommend taking a day to see it. Hi guys, currently I am here at Eagle Sanctuary and there is so much trees up here and it's pretty cold and let's go ahead and check it out. Another must-see is the Philippine Eagle Center outside the city of Davao. The sanctuary is literally in the middle of a beautiful rainforest. The trees, vegetation, and flowers were absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend you bring plenty of water and definitely mosquito repellent. There was many mosquitoes at this location and thank goodness I had mosquito killer with me.
Well guys, this place is so beautiful. Look at this tree up here. It looks like it's 500 years old. Oh my god. Let's go in this way. You will also find other reptiles and animals here as well as the amazing Philippine eagle. The Philippine eagle is one of the largest eagle species in the world. This large eagle has a wingspan that exceeds 2 meters or 7 feet, the broadest in the world. The eagle hunts monkeys, monitor lizards, and hornbills. There is only about 1,000 Philippine eagles still living in the wild. It is the official national bird of the Philippines. There's actually a breeding center here where they breed this beautiful endangered eagle. There are over 40 Philippine eagles here. Half are captive bred. There were so many beautiful things to see here and very large eagle cages for them to fly free to recover from injuries and to prepare for being reintroduced into the wild. I would highly recommend you visit the Philippine Eagle Center and place it on the top of your list of things to do in Davao City. Guys, there's a place like this here and it says it's an eagle's breeding and there's a lot of incubator inside. If you are adventurous and in good shape, you should go to the most amazing waterfall in Davao, Pulang Batu Falls. Please watch my YouTube video on this amazing waterfall and see how I literally almost killed myself. Finally, Something that must be on your bucket list in Davao City is Samal Island. Once again, I have a YouTube video on this beautiful tropical island. You must go watch it and you will see how lovely it is. While on the island, I went to two beautiful tropical beaches and it was so relaxing and fun. I hope you enjoy this video about top things to do in Davao City. It is a beautiful, clean, and very modern city. For those foreigners that need good medical care, it also has great hospitals and hospital services. If you're looking for a large city with modern conveniences, this would be a great place for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit like button if you enjoyed this video, and leave me comments down below. And as always, can't wait to see you on my next video.